2500 and it just started Open bar you know what that means <laughs> But drinking is bad children don't drink drink juice Unless you're of age and drinking is normal vodka orange and cranberry yeah, as I was saying, drinking's good, in moderation. Yes, I'm an athlete, but I'm a regular person too. Oh, some performance issues. It's bent at the wrist. It's saving the turtles, but it's, it's messing up our drinks. Oh. I have one of these phantom to get. Yeah. I, mean, I thought we were on over here. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> you, you can go first. <laughs> Ladies first. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, I'll take you and me. We're trying to decide who's in line. <laughs> that is so cool. That's actually sick as hell. Wow. I love the I look good. So how do we get this? Put our email in or something? Yeah, you just type email address here. How much does this setup cost? Uh, typically around 3000 But, like, obviously, I could probably do a little better. All right, thank you. DJ man, what's your DJ? What's your handle? Let's see right here. Ooh. Louis V. All right, he's going to be the DJ for the night. All right. <laughs> Hello. How are you, man? I'm great. I was just getting some videos. Next summer, we'll be in Tokyo. He will be. He will be. Okay, he will be. Yes. He's not on the video. He's not. He's going to be representing this country in the running longhorn. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jared, Jared is an exceptional athlete. I, I didn't just bring him up here for his good looks. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to stay up here. It's fine. <laughs> But, but Jared is an unbelievable actor. Um, he's going to bring home he's going to bring home gold for Canada. I've spoken to Ray Seth Play, and they've decided that 10% of today's donations will go towards Jared's cost to train for the Olympics. Woo! Oh my God! Bloop. Pause for a cause. At this point, my mind was blown because he told me to come to this event. And he was going to help me out, but he didn't say how. He didn't say what he was going to do. I didn't get any details. And, like, I had two days to prepare. Bought a suit the day before. And, like, I didn't, I was, like, so, I'm still mind-boggled. 
is whatever the 10% is, I will personally match it to help Jared out. And if anyone else would like to help Jared's cause to go to the Olympics and train for the Olympics, please either approach me, approach Jared, because we want him training and not worried about work and other things. We want to bring home that gold medal for this country. And I think if we all just do a little bit for, uh, for Jared, we're going to all feel great next time when we see him on that podium. Okay, so he's going to say a couple of words for us, okay? I, when I came up here, I didn't know what he was going to say. And that honestly means the world to me that you just said that to me, like I'm blown back right now. But as you said, I'm Jared Kerr. I'm an aspiring Olympian. I've been running track for about 10 years. No, 14 years, since I was 10. And I started basically following my older sister. She saw an ad in the newspaper, and she went to my dad like, I want to do this. And I was like, she wants to do it. I want to do it too. And then I ended up just falling in love with the sport, exploring, doing other things. It, it brought me so many opportunities. I got a scholarship to the University of Houston. Anyone here know who Carl Lewis is? Yeah. Yeah. That was the guy who recruited me. Woo. And seeing someone like that see potential in me brought me to another level and brought my ambition to another level. At first I was like, I'll just go to college, get a free education, then I'll get a job and be a regular person, I guess. And, um, but yeah, my, my event is long jump. Uh, I'd say that I basically never grew out of playing the sand pit in the sandbox. <laughs> and yeah, thank you all for coming here. Thank you all for listening. And I'd like to thank Sam for allowing me to be here. And thank you. What an introduction. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night. First and uh, most importantly, I'd like to congratulate Jared. Good luck next year in Tokyo. The team was just there, and it's a fantastic place. So we wish you luck, and I will be making a contribution as well. Let's give him a round of applause. I also like to thank Sam and Jamie for inviting me here today. Um, you know, with the Raptors playing every other day, I'm happy that this is one of the few days that we have off, and I wouldn't spend it anywhere else rather than here. So, thank you guys for inviting me. Um, it's been fun. It's taken a lot of pictures. I've answered a lot of questions. When they stop asking me questions is when I'm probably not relevant anymore. So, <laughs> keep it coming. That won't ever happen. <laughs> um, you know, being from Scarborough and growing up, in the East End of Toronto, um, you know, even though you know I have my own charity, uh, anything that has anything to do with our city of Toronto, I take a vested interest in, and I think that each and every one of us should do that as well, uh, because uh, there's a saying like, "You pay me now, or you pay me later." So we rather pay now. We rather instill uh, our resources, our time, our efforts into these young kids now, instead of having to deal with the repercussions that we could have prevented 10 years from now. We're in that position right now, and it may not be monetary, to give our time, our effort, our support into these young kids now, instead of trying to reform them later, then we give ourselves a chance. <laughs> happen. Big things are coming. I'm not going to share any details. Just no big things are coming. You know? Peace. Peace. If I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. I'm counting all day like the clock on the wall. Now go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. Say go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. Look buddy. Here with my main man Sam. I just wanted to thank him for what you're doing for me. It really means a lot that not only helping me, well, not only just you believe in me, but you're also helping me get to where I need to get to. A lot of people will just stop at the belief and like I do love the support, 
but having that financial aspect and having someone willing to go a step further really means a lot to me. All right, I just want to thank you. Thank you. Now I don't have to work. And I'm about to give my mom some money because Yeah, make it rain on you. Oh, you feel me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, see that? Yeah. Yeah, bro. Can't, can't be losing money out here. I'm just trying to be great like this boy right here. That's all I want. You feel me? And then there's a check for that's the other him matching the 10% and then that's like 4,200. What is that? What is this? What? Hey, Hi, baby. You got your payout, huh? Yep. Things are gonna change, mom. Thanks, Jared. I'm, I'm working. Say something to the camera. Say hi, baby. That's it? That's all you wanna say? One last shout out to Sam, to Jamal, to Arrow Group of Companies, and also to the charity Ready Set Play. I'm really thankful for them agreeing to give me 10% and Sam matching that and everything. And I'd also like to just mention your support means a lot to me as well and that means just stay tuned subscribe i really appreciate the views the likes the shares i'm trying to get my story out there get my brand recognition out there thank you